Buenos días o buenas tardes. Me llamo Alicia y soy bailadora. Good morning or good afternoon, depending on what time it is that you are watching this. My name is Alice and I am a flamenco dancer. The rhythm that you just saw danced in flamenco is called guajiras. G-U-A-J-I-R-A-S. Let's all try and say that together on the count of three. One, two, three. Guajiras. Guajiras is one of many styles of flamenco. And it actually has a very strong influence from Cuba and Cuban music. And for the dance, the baile, we almost always dance por guajiras with an abanico, with a fan. So, I'm going to show you how to make your own abanico and then we'll learn some of the flamenco steps por guajiras. Two sheets of regular eight and a half by 11 printer paper or scrap paper that you can draw on. You can use paints, so you would need a paintbrush and some paints. You can just use colored pencils. If you have crayons, you can use crayons. If you have markers, you can use markers. Any painting or drawing materials you are welcome to use to help create your abanico. And you're going to need tape or a glue stick. I don't have glue, so I'm gonna use tape. I'm gonna make the fan right here on top of my flamenco stage. You can see with my flamenco fan, it's actually made out of very, very thin pieces of wood and fabric. Fabric, a little piece of fabric that holds all those little pieces together. And it folds and opens. Our paper fan, here's the one I didn't decorate. Um, I'm not gonna be able to fold it quite as easily as my flamenco fan, but it still comes and opens up to make the same shape as my flamenco fan. So the first thing is you can take your sheets of paper um, and you can imagine them as one big painting or you could do two separate drawings. And I want you to paint or draw something that reminds you of flamenco. Maybe it's flowers because we wear flowers in our hair or maybe the beautiful circling lines of the hands or maybe trees and nature and the sun. We always make the big sun above our head or in front of us. Think of all the different images that remind you of flamenco and draw or paint those on your piece of paper. All right, so I'm ready here with my two pieces of paper and I'm gonna do a bunch of flowers on this side to celebrate spring. So I've got some paint brushes here and... Make sure you let your paints dry completely. Um, that way your fan doesn't stick together. So once you have those, you're gonna take your piece of paper and fold it one direction like this and then fold it back the other way. And again, fold it one way, fold it the other way. You can do this on the floor or on a table to make the folds nice and smooth. The smaller I fold my paper, the more my fan will be able to open up. So with my two sheets of paper, I'm gonna put them next to each other and I wanna fold this corner here, the bottom, just up a little bit. That's gonna be the base of the fan. And I'm gonna glue the two pieces together. I can put the glue right here, glue the two sides together, or if you don't have glue, you can just tape them. 
So I'm just gonna take a couple pieces of tape here um, and can tape them together like this. So I'm taping those sides together. So once my sides are taped, I can pull the two sides of the fan open and you'll be able to see your beautiful drawing on each side. You wanna make sure the paper lines up or very close to lines up at the seam here. Um, and this is why you wanna paint both sides of the paper. We use both sides of the fan. So if you're using paints, make sure one side dries before the other side. Um, or you can use colored pencils or crayons, markers, and draw on both sides of the paper. And now you have your own abanico, and I'll show you how to hold it and dance with it in just a moment. Now that you have your beautiful fan made, and hopefully has lots of more details than this one, you're gonna hold your fan, you're gonna place your fan in the palm of your hand like so. I'm gonna wrap my thumb around one edge, my pinky, my ring finger, and my middle finger around the back edge, and then my index finger is gonna line up with this edge of the fan. Now make sure you're very gentle with your fan. If you hold it too tight, you'll break it. So be gentle with it, just let it rest in your hands. We're going to learn how to draw circles in space with our fan. So I'm gonna take my fan out in front of me, my arm is nice and long, I'm going to take the fan down, take it around, and flip it up. So if I didn't have my fan, I'm going to take my finger that I would point with or I like to press buttons with, and I'm going to draw a big circle right in front of me. So I draw, imagine that circle, drawing a big clear circle with my wrist and my finger. Now I do that with the fan. Draw the circle with your Index finger, nice big circles. That's it. And then you can take your fan close to your face and fan yourself pretending like you're in Cuba and it's very hot and there's no air conditioning. The sun is beating down on you. It's not Ohio where it's currently snowing. And draw one big circle with your arm now all the way up and around. We're gonna try that all together. I'm gonna draw eight circles in front of me with the fan. I'll fan myself for four counts, and then I'll draw one big circle all the way around for another four counts. Here we go. And uno, dos, Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. Fan yourself. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Big circle. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Again. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. And I want you to play with as many different ways as you can draw. 
draw circles with the fan, with your arms. You can even draw big circles with your legs and the fan at the same time. So let's play with all the different ways that we can make circles with all of these different elements. Did you make? 